Hello and welcome to CSI Wildwood. Welcome to the conclusion of our murder mystery. It's been a long week, but it looks like we finally have our killer. Evidence collected at the crime scene on day one gave us six possible suspects in the killing of Nutty the Grey Squirrel. These were the Red Fox, the Badger, the Tawny Owl, the Fallow Deer, the Raven, and the Pine Martin. The profiles suggested the Fallow Deer and the Raven were unlikely suspects, but the autopsy report from yesterday has given us definitive evidence. First of all, it stated that the cause of death was a bite to the back of the neck with two puncture marks caused by canine teeth. If you were looking at the skull identification sheet, you would have realized the fallow deer cannot be our suspect. Why? It does not have canine teeth. <laughs> At the same time, it rules out both the raven and the tawny owl. They are birds, they have beaks, they do not have teeth at all. Unfortunately, the three candidates left all fit the right criteria. The red fox, the badger, and the pine martin all have canine teeth, and they all have the teeth the right distance apart. So we had to go back to the crime scene. There was no evidence that Nutty was alive at the crime scene, and there was no evidence that he was killed there either. So it suggests that his body was simply dropped there almost by accident. So, of the three suspects remaining, well, we know that there is a drag mark next to Nutty's body. That means we're not looking at the red fox. The red fox is strong enough and large enough to be carrying Nutty's body well off the ground. which leaves us with just two suspects. The Pine Martin, who's quite small, and the Badger, who tends to drag things behind him. The final piece of evidence was the time of death. The time of death was put at between 6 and 6.45, so early morning. But Badgers tend to only be out at night. We believe our killer is the Pine Martin. Pine Martins are members of the weasel family. They're small, slim bodied, and incredibly good at climbing trees. They can climb, run, and jump through the branches. They're actually rare in Britain today. They are still found in Scotland and Wales, and just last year, a group were reintroduced to the Forest of Dean. However, before you think that this is a bad guy, there are extenuating circumstances. For starters, pine martins are predators, and squirrels are their natural prey. Also, grey squirrels are not native to Britain. They were introduced in the 1800s. It's actually been discovered in areas where there are pine martins the number of the grey squirrels goes down, but the number of the native red squirrels will go up. So, the pine martins catching and killing grey squirrels might actually be a good thing in the long run. So, we now have the identity of our killer. I hope you've enjoyed being part of CSI Wildwood, and we hope to see you again here at Wildwood in the future.